Today I end up picking up my brand new 2022 Tesla Model X long range and uh, I want to go ahead and install this Spigen screen protector that I ended up getting from Amazon. It is pretty pricey to get screen protectors for the Model X and S. So hopefully I do this right. I don't end up ruining it. And uh, yeah, uh, wish me luck. But this should be much easier uh, to do in my opinion. So we get this box. I've already opened it just to confirm that it's a matte finish one. I don't really like the glossy. So it does say anti glare here, as you can see. All right. I know it washes out the quality a little bit but again like it gives you a much much better screen because you don't see the glare like you do here like look what it looks like now and then you'll see what it looks like once i put it in so there's this here i do end up buying this stuff with my own money so i did pay full price for this whatever it was on amazon at that time i'm actually gonna hold the screen exit and turn off the cooling seats i don't really want to have any air i'm gonna close the window this might still create some dust and stuff coming through Okay, so we have all of these stuff here. Got this squeegee with a microfiber user's manual showing us how the install works. Display, screen clean mode. We get two of these wipes. Let's see if one will be enough. Probably it will be enough. Hopefully everything goes well. I am a bit terrified, but let's see. So we're gonna wipe it. The screen is pretty much brand new, but I have touched it. Um, it's also pretty hot actually. Now we're gonna take this towel and try to clean it with it, kind of dry it. Now we're gonna take this uh, dust remover stickers, make sure all the dust is off the screen. Oh, I just touched the screen. Now I have a fingerprint here. It's crazy. I'm taking this off and the more dust is still getting on the screen. Like there was no dust here and now there's dust on there. So this comes off. Okay. So this goes out like this. Hopefully no dust ends up being on there. And then this would go like this. Press and slide. I'm hoping this to go well. Wait 30 seconds. It's a huge bubble back there. It is leaving adhesive, but it seems like it's another layer. This might be holding just the easy to install case looking thing here. I think it is, let's see. Yep, okay. Wow, um, there's a lot of bubbles. I'm not liking it. Let's see, do we use this to push it out? Oh boy. Okay, I have not had a screen protector on a Tesla that actually had this many bubbles. Because I have put one on the Model 3 and Y. This one has quite a bit of bubbles. And here it is installed. There was quite a bit of bubbles, so I used this tape over here. I even connected two together and then got behind it and then took the dust out and then ended up uh, using this, leveling it up. The GoPro ended up turning off. I guess it overheated or the battery went off. I think no more battery. Uh, but yeah, so as you can see, now the screen is so much more matte. It's not like... How would you put it like it's not shiny so you can't see yourself in here like you can over here so it definitely does change the way it looks display quality wise but 
it is not too bad like here is on uh, auto for example so yeah pretty nice for sure definitely recommend getting a screen protector especially a matte one that's kind of what it looks like with the install that's kind of what i see okay so yeah overall pretty nice i think i'm gonna stick with the dark mode because it uh it definitely plays much nicer with the black over here for sure so yeah that's the install of the spigen screen protector if you guys are new to the channel consider subscribing i will see you guys in the next one